Hello everyone, my name is Fenton Webb and I work for the Autodesk Developer Network. I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration today uh, where I'm going to show you how to migrate your older Object Airx applications to AutoCAD JAWS. Uh, first thing I wanted to point out is that AutoCAD JAWS uh, is compiled exclusively with Visual Studio 2010 um, using the ultimate version because that's what I get with my MSDN license. Um, I've also got uh, the service pack installed, service pack 1 for Visual Studio 2010. Um, so just so you can see what version I have, let me just bring up the the about box. <coughs> As you can see version, uh, well we have the SP1 there installed for both of them, okay. Now what I've done is um, I've actually made a copy of my my Object Airx SDK version 2007 and I've got it here, 2007 copy. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly delete all of the extra folders um, that are in there. I'm just going to leave my samples folder. Now the reason I'm using the 2007 version is because this is the oldest SDK I have which was built Unicode compatible. Um, and the reason I want to do that is because I don't want to spend too much time converting um, everything um, to to be Unicode supported. The, you know, the the other thing is that the 2007 version doesn't use any uh, Visual Studio default properties uh, from the SDK, so that's the other reason I want to do. It. And this that gives us um, uh, it makes it much um, more aligned to what you guys will be doing when you're migrating your projects. Um, I mean, you know, the settings would be more similar. Okay, so if we go back to Visual Studio 2010, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, one of those sample projects. So let's go to, let's start off nice and easy and go to the clone nod DG sample. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to try and convert it using the Visual Studio conversion wizard. Okay, we just finish and go ahead with that. Um, I would recommend showing the conversion log um, just so you can check to make sure it did convert everything okay. <coughs> One thing to note in here as well is you'll notice that it it prints out different errors that you're going to get when you compile your application. I'll talk about that in more detail in a second. Uh, I'm on a 64-bit machine but what we'll do is we're only I'm only going to migrate the 32-bit version just um, just so that we can do it quickly. Um, now, what we'll notice in this project is a couple of things. Um, so if we go to the linker, we'll see that obviously all of our libraries are set to 17. Uh, and also we have libraries that are um, like this one here, acedapi.lib. Um, so, you know, we're going to have to to make these work for AutoCAD JAWS, we need to make, change those to 19 libs. Um, we also need to remove the ACED API lib because um, that's been uh, that's been taken out of uh, AutoCAD for JAWS. Uh, sorry, AutoCAD JAWS. Um, now, yeah, it's kind of fiddly to do all of that sort of stuff. Plus, there's some extra uh, C++ settings that you need to modify. Um, now, what I've done is I've updated the Visual Tfe tool. Uh, which was originally uh, created to aid Unicode migration. Uh, what I've done is I've upgraded that or updated it to work with Visual Studio 2010 so I recommend that you get that um, before migrating your Object Airx applications. So what we'll do is we'll I'll cancel out that and we'll, the first thing we'll do is we'll convert this project using the Visual Tfe tool convert project settings um, command so I'm going to just do that. Just press. So this uh, CRT secure no deprecate uh, gets rid of the, um, the 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 requirement to have the underscore s functions. So uh, sprintf underscore s. They're, they're kind of safer versions of those functions. Uh, I'm just I, I'm just going to say yes to that. That's fine. Now what the TFE, um application has done is it's um, well, first of all, we see this dialog which gives some extra notes. But if we go to the, which I'll come back to in a second. But if we go to the project properties, and have a look at the 
you know, for instance, the, the libraries that we saw a second ago. Um, it's removed all of the um, libraries, the ACED, um, the, the, you know, the, the, the ACAD, um, ACED lib that we had before. Um, and it's also added extra ones, AC Core, AC First 19. And also it's renamed them from 17 to 19, so it's kind of convenient. Um, the TFE advisor uh, dialog here will stay in front of everything um, just while you get up to speed. Now there's a couple of th additional notes. So the first one is that if you have an MFC project then you need to set your Winver to, well, we'll because AutoCAD supports um, WinXP from Windows XP Service Pack 3 I advise that you do the same for your um, your projects, um, or you can include um, the ST, SDK DDK ver .h in your studfx.h. So that's for MSC projects. You also need to make sure that the platform toolset is using uh, V100. Um, it was possible with what is it is possible with Visual Studio 2010 to set the platform toolset to previous versions of Visual Studio so you can do binary compatibility um, builds so you could use Visual Studio 2010 to build a, a, a you know um, Air X's that are compatible with AutoCAD 2010 uh, and 11 and 12 um, by setting this to, to V90 um, so you need to make sure that's set to 100 you also need to just to get rid of a couple of um, you know warning errors that you might get to you know change your make sure because obviously we're outputting air X's and DBX's just make sure you um, set your target extension to say dot uh, airx or dot dot dbx so let me let me just show you what we're talking about so if we go to so this isn't an MFC project so we don't need to actually do this first one here but we do need to do the platform tool set check which is here so we've already got that set to V100 so there's nothing needed there and um, we just need to change the target extension to dot airx and then OK um, actually an, uh, one last thing it's mentioning here is to update your projects include reference and library directories so we'll do that as well now it used to be possible to go um, to your tools options um, project solutions VC directories and set your default object RX um, folders in there but they've they've since removed that for some reason um, so what you need to do is you need to go to your project properties go to your VC directories and then just add your object RX include folders here so on my machine it's APIs object RX 2013 ink <coughs> and I'll just copy that for future use now the reference files is going to be the win32 and the library files is going to be lib win32 obviously you'll need to do the same for you know the 64-bit configurations as well but in, you know, for this demo I'm not going to be doing that okay and we just rebuild the solution save it and Okay, well we can't open the .def file, so what we need to do is um, that's going to be in my advanced. Oops, oh, it's in linker, obviously, and here it is here. So we just need to change that to. I'll just use the one that's defined in my um, my 2013 ink and rebuild that. Okay, so there's our first migrated application. Um, let's do another one just so you, you believe me that it's uh, fairly easy to do. Um, again, this isn't an MFC project, so I'll just run it really, run through it really quickly. Okay, tools, visual TFE, convert project settings. Okay. And we're going to go to the properties. We'll change the Airx def, uh, the yeah the module definition file. <coughs> go to general. Make sure it's whoops. Make sure we're set to v100, which we are. 
change the target extension, set up our VC directories, and OK, and then rebuild. Let's close these windows, oops, and then we'll save that. Let's close these down. Okay, so that's a good one. Right, now let's try an MFC project. Um, just so you can see what's going on there. Um, so let's go to editor, MFC samples. Let's do, um, let's do modal. <coughs> so we'll just convert it. Now this is an MFC project, so um, when we when we convert this using the TFE tool, um, this this first tip is probably going to come into uh, I into um, fruition. Um, so let's just um, let's do the other things first, and I'll show you what happens if you don't um, if you don't include that header file. So dot rx, it's on 100. Set the the default paths. Win32. <coughs> Lib. Win32. OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build. And here's the area you're going to see. Um, so, you know, it's it's saying that um, the the version isn't the the win version isn't set up correctly. So if we go to our studfx.h file, um, what I generally do is I check, uh, I look for where winver is defined or the win32 winnt, and I just get rid of those, <coughs> delete them, and then just probably best thing is to just include the um, SDK DDK ver h and then that'll automatically set it for us. Um, so build rebuild solution. Okay, we've got a couple of problems with the the def file again. <coughs> which is pretty easy to fix. Get rid of that semicolon at the front. Um, it's actually complaining here that the target path isn't uh, the same as the um, the linker's path. Um, so re really what we need to do to fix that is, is fairly simple. Um, I don't really know why it complains about that, but we just need to put um, debug in front of that, and I think that'll solve it. <coughs> Actually, I should have just linked it. There you go, got rid of that error. So that's that's pretty much it. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. Just make sure you um, take the time to find and install Visual uh, TFE for uh, Visual Studio 2010 and your migration um, uh, experience between uh, your old Object RX projects and Visual Studio 2010 for AutoCAD JAWS will be made much more simple. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I'll speak to you soon.